Welcome to the Pike Breakdown Lane. You break down and we point and laugh. <laughs> Just like the other Pike. 100 FM, the Pike. Yeah, we do it every uh, Friday. Play your messages back from the Breakdown Lane and uh, for the streamers out there. I don't know if we're back on the air yet, but let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. How are you doing? Just calling about your question this morning about why there is uh, not handles on air conditioners. Don't know this for a fact, but I would guess that if they had built-in handles and somebody, you know, hurt their back or something, there'd be a lawsuit out there for sure. But if I was an engineer, I'd be the guy that would be building these handles at the bottom inside so it doesn't impact when you slide it in. Anyways, have yourself a good day. There's a man with a plan right there. Go. <laughs> get that guy an engineer. What about those of us who hurt our back carrying it without handles? Yeah, I was going to bring that up. It's like, it doesn't matter. You, <laughs> handles or no handles, you're going you're to hurt yourself more. You're going to slice your fingers open on the grate on the back and hurt your back. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, see, there's a guy thinking. You put them in under there, and you, or someone else brought it up in the text line. You have them fold in. You know, yeah. But yet, all the answers I've ever gotten over the years on that question yeah. start off like that. Well, I don't know this for a fact, or I'm no expert. So I believe there is some kind of air conditioning conspiracy going on. I think there needs to be an invention, and we need to go on Shark Tank with this AC handle invention. Yeah, there's got. I looked on Amazon for AC handles. Yeah, <laughs> all they gave me were knobs. Oh. So you know, you can't lift it by the knobs. That's extra painful. Right. Hi, Adam. Hi, Mike. How's it going? It's going well. Did you see your pal Steve Arino willing to take requests? I got a good one for you now. Shakedown Breakdown by Bob Seger. Play it. Wow. That's, that's really uncharacteristic of Steve Arino. There was, Play it. There was no buttering up there. Yeah. Are you supposed to tell us how great we are? You're, you, you, play yeah, it. you're supposed to say, you guys are the best, and then can you play, the, you know, and then play it. Bob Seger needs no buttering up. Mm. Just play it. Fair huh. enough, Josh. Yeah. Fair enough. My auntie told yeah. me that. That's not, oh, Breakdown. That's So that's from Beverly Hills Cop, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Did you see the trailer for the new one? No. Beverly Hills Cop, Axel F., and with I think Eddie? that's what they're telling. Yeah, with Eddie, every like almost everybody is back. Really, and Eddie's back. The tra- I'll, I posted the trailer on the uh, on our X slash Twitter feed for those stream listening on the stream. Check it out. It looks good. I wasn't crazy about three. Uh, wait, wait, was it, three? what was the last one? Was it, I didn't even the, know there was a three. I think there was a, there was a three, and I and I wasn't too. I think there was a three. Anyway, was that straight one. to this VHS? one looks good. Judge Reinhold's back. Did you say VHS. Yes. yes. You, you know the two the two Beverly Hills cops there. Yeah. Judge yeah. Reinhold. I forget the other actor's name. He's there. Uh, there's a bunch of people coming back for it, which is fan. Paul Reiser. Oh, is, oh, I think Paul wow. Reiser. The way they make it out, he's the chief in Detroit. Love that. Yeah, which is great. And I think the older guy, the Judge Reinhold's partner, is the chief in Beverly Hills now. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, that's it, awesome. so it looks really good. That's I mean, awesome. it, it has like giant chase scenes and stuff. So check out the trailer for that. It's on our X slash Twitter feed at 100 FM The Pike. Yeah, it's true. The reason that uh, the government is suing Ticketmaster is because the government hates when other companies act exactly like they do. They're just they're the Ticketmaster of government. Hmm. Fair enough. Well, well, how many governments do you want in one country? Fair, fair, fair enough. <laughs> Our government yeah. is a monopoly in That's this country. Right. And they're going to be the only monopoly. And they're going to make sure that happens right now. Well, if you want, you could have the Chinese government, sir. Yeah, that's true. I Just mean, yeah, saying. There are worse alternatives. You might you come know? back. They don't, let you, they don't let you pass go or collect 200 bucks. You know, in you, China, for crying out loud. Go to loud. Russia. Go to you know? China. We'll see yeah. you in a week. Yeah, good luck with that. If you can make it back. God. Hey, I just wanted to leave uh, my quick review of the Neil Young show. I saw you there. Nice to see you, bud. Uh, all right, Neil and the horse, A plus. Set list, A plus. Absolutely fantastic. Great show. Great set. Uh, price of uh, hot dogs, uh, I'm going to say uh, C minus. Uh, lack of mustard, I'm going to go with an F on this one. That's but, right. Uh, you're going to tell me a hot dog and not give me mustard? You can get the hell out of my face with that. Uh, I will say the Xfinity Center security staff, I'm going to go ahead and give them an A-plus for looking the other way since I made my way from the lawn down to Section 2, except for that jerk at the pit who wouldn't let me through. Uh, Other than that, overall, I'm going to have to give the whole show probably a B-plus considering all those negative things. In the fact that uh, sweatshirt was $100, a little out of of God's price range. The pike break. Oh, oh. yeah. Um, 
Yeah, again, no mustard at the Neil Young show, allegedly because they couldn't find all organic mustard. He had several, he has demands on the venue. So he needed, uh, he picked the menu. He made sure it was like organic stuff. You know, he, he they didn't use the jumbotrons. He wanted people to focus on the stage and it would he use think less he energy. God? Well, it, uh, what surprised me here is God had lawn seats. God couldn't get, you know. Well, he <laughs> snuck up front. He snuck up front. And uh, caller, you know, your son can make uh, wine from water. I'm sure he could have made you some mustard. Well, I'm starting to suspect that now. Just say. I'm, I'm suspect of that because, you know, God had to sneak up front. Does his, does his son really make? Wine out of water? I Who's, mean, I'm starting to I'm starting to really think. Does God really? Is, he is all this powerful? one of the Greek gods? I mean, which god uh, is this? He's this just saying sound like it's whatever god. god puts mustard on his hot dog. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's, it's whatever god complains about the prices of sweatshirts. <laughs> yeah. huh. So it's it's that god. I, I, well, it was good to see. You. I definitely saw God watching Neil Young. That was a good <laughs> night. Well, but, he saw you. Yeah. Well, we saw each other. Yeah, we actually shared a, a beverage together the first time you've Shared spoken to laughs. God in many years. God God may have been a little buzzed. Oh, yeah? That's all I'm going to say. Doesn't make you a bad guy. The right. Pike breakdown lane. You guys are broken down right now and breaking my heart. Awful start to the weekend, boys. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, That's all right. To the streamers, we appreciate you listening. Thank you very much. Triple A is uh, on the way. And uh, apparently, it's, according to Texas, we're still off the air. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of people checking in saying they're listening on the stream, and, and we appreciate that. According, according to my radio, we're still off the air, too. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah <of> course. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> yes. But, uh, but thank you very much, everybody. We appreciate you, uh, you know, downloading the app and, uh, and asking your smart speaker to play 100 FM The Pike. Keep it going. Take us uh, somewhere, wherever you're going this weekend. Hillary Clinton oh, and the lizard people <laughs> send Joe Biden robocalls everybody and because you addressed it on your show this morning the u.s government and the coconut grove fire conspiracy theorists have taken the pike off the air we're streaming only and america airlines has come out and said that it's the listeners <laughs> fault that they should know that we were off the air oh my god alex jones guy love him <laughs> all right thank you very much for your messages we appreciate it we do it every friday the pike breakdown lane uh, remember, we'll never call you back. We'll never sell your information. You can call the Pike Breakdown Lane 24-7.